Hi guys, welcome to my channel Ulibrecalc. In this video we are gonna take a look at a function for conversion numbers into words. And I'll give you a couple of examples of how this be really useful to you as you work in LibreOffice Calc. So here we have a number and we want to write it in words. But as known, LibreOffice Calc doesn't have a built-in function for this purpose. So we need to create such function manually using macros. To do this, press tools, macros, edit macros. Now insert our already prepared macro code. This code you can find in description to this video. Okay, our new function is named spell num underscore new libre calc. Let's copy the name and close the window. Now insert the formula into formula bar. Good. As we can see, the function works good and converts number into words. Now let's add currency to our conversion. Duplicate the previous example and change our formula a little. Our function has some extra parameters that receive a currency name for singular and plural forms. Let it be dollars for an integer part and cents for a fractional part. Okay, now we have $1,258.65. Okay, but what should we do if we don't live in the USA and use another currency? Let it be Indian currency rupee. So just replace dollars by rupees and cents by pesa. Okay, now we have 1258 rupees and 65 pesa. This is enough in more than 80 percent cases. But let's consider other cases that can be useful. What if we need to write a fractional part like this? Sixty five slash one hundred only. In some countries, such spelling is used. Fortunately, our function has one more extra parameter to do such conversion. Let's copy one of the previous examples and set the additional parameter. We will call this parameter as a modifier. Set it to 3. Also, we don't need to use cents but word only. Replace cents by empties. Now add word only. Use a percent symbol to concatenate both parts. Okay, now we have $1,258.65 and 65 slash 100 only. Okay, also some countries use 3 digit after point or comma and final result will look something like this.
To get such spelling, just set modifier to 4. If you need to write a fractional part in words, then just set modifier to 5. We have $1,258 and $650 for only. Let's consider some other cases. If you want to convert an integer or fractional part only, you can use modifier 1 or 2. This also can be useful if you don't want to use word AND between integer part and fractional one. For example, you want to use dash or ampersand symbol as a unifier. OK. Our function has two more parameters to cover some extra cases. Sometimes people write a currency name at the very beginning of the sentence. To do this, just use the seventh parameter with value 1 after modifier in the formula. Let's copy one of the previous examples. and place currency at the very beginning of the sentence. For this, we will use seventh parameter with value 1. So we need add our modifier parameter, use just default value, it's 0, and add seventh parameter with value 1. OK. We have rupees 1258 and pesos 65. The last parameter of our function is responsible for showing zero value for the fractional part. Sometimes this is used for accounting purposes. For example, we have value 20. By default, the value will be displayed as $20 without zero cents. But if you need to display it explicitly, then set the last parameter to 1. So, what do we have? The first parameter, it's a value. The next four ones, it's currency names. 6 parameter, it's a modifier that is set to 0 as a default value. The seventh parameter is responsible for currency location. We set it to 0 also as a default value. And the eighth parameter displays zero value for the fractional part. Now I'm going to show you some small tricks about displaying a final result. By default, each word after conversion starts with a capital letter. If you need to write whole sentence with capital letters, just use function upper.
Likewise, you can use a lower function to write whole sentence with small letters. If you want to write the sentence with first capital letter only, you need to use combination of two functions, left and mid. Also, there are many examples that describe how our function works. You can stop the video and check out the different cases in more detail. If the video was helpful for you, please like it and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.